I'm here with James Mobalaji and he is the Treasury and Investment Manager at Ancoria Asset Management. Hello. Yes, that's correct. Hello, Kemi. How are you? I'm good. So I see that you're one of those people that manage the ins and outs of money in the organization. <laughs> Definitely. I would like to know one thing, though. When it comes to balancing of this, will I say, uh, finance in an a organization, portfolio. exactly, portfolio in an organization, how exactly does that work, especially with small businesses? I think very, very critical, that's a very valid question because, I mean, this is where most uh, businesses fail in terms of uh, liquidity management, also mismatches that happens in the finances of the business. Uh, of course, very prominent approach is to be sure and be conversant with the behavior of your balance sheet. And you definitely be able to first of all organize your book in such a way that you know that the nuances of your cost and when the obligations of one arise. So what we should naturally do is to be able to, after understanding this, to be able to position even your sales, your payables and your receivables to ensure that they are in tandem with the expectations of cash flows into your business. And also when you are selling, I mean when you are obtaining credit, we ensure that the cost is actually does not outweigh what the return on investment in your business is. I mean, if this is properly tracked, of course, the mismatches are well managed and, I mean, your finances will be organized, will be, will be in good shape. Now, talking about um, mismatched and finances, mm -hmm. is there a difference between small and medium scale businesses mm -hmm. and large organizations that balance their books? I know that they don't work on the same scale, yeah. but is there a difference when it comes to their finance? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. For the small businesses, I think the pitfall is the undermining the effect of small expenses and the impact they have on their book over time. I mean, for, for large organizations, definitely they must have been able to take care of organizing their books in such a way that they, they know that the specialization in terms of different businesses and how the finances are now consolidated. I mean, in terms of a different product differentiation and then to consolidate the finances. I mean, it's going to be a different approach. Of course, we are looking at it from a, what do you call it, from a broad view when we talk of big businesses. And because of uh, the scalability that happened for the big businesses, they can actually start talking about different forms of financing obligations. Uh, for small businesses, it may be very difficult. But for big organizations, financing obligations and funding may be a different budget for them. They can be able to access the debt uh, capital market, mm -hmm. you can also also be able to get overdraft or other credit facilities from big banks. So it's a different approach entirely. And of course, a well-managed small business with scalability will definitely have to get there one day. Some of these businesses definitely, apologies, some of these businesses definitely might even be producing more liquidity than they can consume, yeah. and which will be good for them. But it's actually... All right, thank you so much. I'm sorry that I'm Focusing on small business, I have okay. a passion for small oh. business. I mean, <laughs> I, I mean, in that. Nigeria, we need the small businesses to grow our yeah. economy. Yeah. Exactly. So, but that's that's really great. Thank you yeah, so thank much. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you.